violent crimes often spring during the night, and criminal hotspots generally come to life in nocturnal hours. In the Gambia, poor inner city lighting has especially increased theft, home invasions, drug violations, murder, rape, and sexual assault, with robbers frequently operating at night. It's why the police anti crime unit has been increasingly busy to avoid crime and protect life and property, with special nightly raids to enforce law and order in communities hosting crime hotspots. The night patrol is one of the unit's most effective routine, an indispensable component and function. Raiding identified crime hotspots in the metropolis to prevent crime, apprehend criminals and enforce the law. Loading a fleet of wheeler patrols led by ASP Corps, they head into communities to execute their duties. The tactical team mastered various criminal hideouts on the night raid has highly contributed in averting crimes. The officers raided some vicinities in the West Coast area where several arrests were made. The officers are leaving no stone on torn to avert crimes that often occur during the night. The unexpected presence of officers has deterred the occurrence of several crimes. Reading identify high crime targets is one of its tactical directives to reduce the risks of incidents. As anti-crime, we are a patrol unit and our main task is to combat crime. In doing so, we don't, uh, in crime fighting, you don't wait until the crime is committed and then you go. You should uh, be a proactive police. We are doing more of proactive patrols to patrol to deter crime in happening. In most of our patrols, we go on, on patrols if we detect crime and then we are able to arrest the culprit. We, are, we pass the area whereby people will sit at stations, wait for complainants to come and complain. Most of the times we do go on patrols, we arrest people with uh, stolen items. Operations by the anti-crime unit is paramount to the country's peace and security. The formation of the anti-crime unit is a requisite for the enhancement of the country's stability. What actually motivated uh, the creation of uh, the anti-crime unit is by extension of police services. Uh, Section 56 of the Police Act empowered any sitting inspector general of police to create certain units under his preview, under his command, where he felt necessary and where he felt required to augment the services of the police. So the anti-crime unit is no incident in one of those, but a requirement that is supposed to be upheld. That is why the anti-crime unit is created, uh, to support uh, the territorial units. The night patrol remains a primary means of providing security services to communities and a critical instrument to combat criminal activities. They have passion in what they are doing and uh, I will give them that credit because uh, they respond to crime uh, effectively and uh, they are easily accessible and they respond to calls urgently, swiftly and well determined to ensure that they do what is required. Raiding suspected hideouts, ensuring instantaneous responses to criminal activities, has availed officers opportunities to make several apprehensions. It's an effective but dangerous operation, as most law offenders will retaliate with weapons or resist arrests. Nighttime raids are an element of surprise for some criminals, but not for frequent law offenders who often expect and escape the anti-crime presence. The officers also fuse randomized patrol with orders clad in civilian clothes to ensure optimal effectiveness in the operations. The unit is provided with tactical training to enhance the capacity of the spatial force to surmount crime.
constantly exposed to threats in the field. The officers are engrossed in martial arts drills for self-defense purposes in hostile environments. The reason why anti-crime should be equipped is we all know now uh, security does a lot of challenges when it comes to, because when it comes also come to like crime has changed into another dimension. You can see in most of the crimes now that we encounter, you may see some people will be armed with knives, others will be even armed with rifles. That's why the units should be equipped whenever there is armed robbery or when there is an armed attack, the unit can be able to respond at the right time. Here, the officers are trained to respond to security threats. The unit is the most frequent target as protectors since contemporary terrorists operate more clandestinely in urban areas. Despite low terrorist threat in the Gombe, the anti-crime unit is exposed to countering and responding to terrorism through investigative, intelligence and responsive operations, as well as a tactical way of rescuing hostages. A formidable cadre of hand-selected police officers are selected to tackle crime and trained to swiftly respond with spatial expertise and force, utilizing the best possible response to emerging terrorist situations. Whilst burglary and home breakings are recurrent crimes in the Gambia, the unit has an understanding of the trends of burglary and this has helped in preventing home breakings through rapid and effective response. The night is often the peak time for violent crimes in communities, and so night raids by the anti crime have made a significant difference in keeping communities safe. To maximize security presence in high crime places, the police anti crime unit incorporated foot patrol to deter the occurrence of crime and to swiftly respond to community safety requests. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Aminata E. Sanyang.